That's ready for the ultimate torque test. <laughs> I don't think uh, a rad city can do that. <laughs> Hi, this is Damon from Top 5 E-Bikes, and today I'm gonna to review for you the Juice Bikes Rip Current S. And this is a bike from a company that we haven't done too many reviews on. Our earliest, one of our earliest reviews, maybe even our, our first or second review, was the, the Juice Bikes Scrambler. Um, and we actually bought that bike with our own money. Um, this time around, Juice was uh, awesome enough to send us this bike, so thank you, Juice. Um, this is what they're calling a sport utility bike. It's a fat tire e-bike, um, essentially. And uh, it's got 26 by four inch tires, very similar to the Adventure, the Magic Cycle Deer. Um, a lot of bikes profile like this. But um, this bike has some cool things that a lot of those other bikes don't have. And it comes from a company that's been around since 2009. Juice Bikes is uh, one, of the, one of the earlier e-bike companies and we don't talk about them enough, um, but you know, I think we're gonna probably do um, a lot more reviews in the, in the coming months for, for these guys. But first, let me remind everyone to please subscribe to Top 5 e-bikes. Uh, we really, really uh, need your support. It helps us grow the channel, it helps us get our engagement rate up. Uh, anytime you comment and like one of our videos, uh, that means we get more e-bikes. Um, and that's really uh, what this is all about. So if you like reading about, researching, watching videos, test rides on e-bikes, um, then definitely subscribe to our channel. The Juice Bikes Rip Current S is currently priced at $18.99. It includes a Bafang 1000 watt rear hub motor that is capable of 1300 watts of peak power. The battery is a lithium ion battery. It's 52 volts and 19.2 amp hours, and it has a charge time of three to six hours. That means it has a range of up to 100 miles. The top speed on this bike is 20 miles per hour with throttle and 28 miles per hour in pedal assist, although you have to use the settings to unlock uh, those top speeds. And you can even unlock speeds of up to 30 miles per hour in what they're calling race mode. It comes with a left side thumb throttle and trigger shifters for the nine speed drivetrain. And the brakes are hydraulic disc brakes. The fork is a Mozo Fat Min Air and the frame is 6061 aluminum. The tires on this model are 26 by four inch CRT tires. Uh, although I've seen in some versions of this bike, uh, Kenda Crusade sport tires. The bike weighs 76 pounds and it comes currently in metallic gray. The bike comes in three different sizes, medium, large, and extra large. The step through version is only one size. The payload of this bike is 300 pounds. The LCD display has readouts for voltage, battery capacity, current speed, assist level, watts, and an odometer. The Rip Current S comes with a rear rack and front and rear fenders. It also comes with a super bright 1050 lumen front light, um, but it doesn't come with an integrated rear light. The rear light is actually battery operated. So in today's review, I'm going to talk about uh, the pros and cons of uh, the Rip Current S. And this is actually a closeout bike. So this is not the newest version of the Rip Current S. This is um, the, the older generation. But the reason I'm talking about this bike right now is it's $18.99 right now. This bike is on sale. Um, so they're making room. They've, they're, they're, they've already made room for the newer uh, version of this bike. And then pretty soon they're going to release the, the next generation of the Rip Current. Um, so stay tuned for that. But, but in the meantime, if you want a Bafang 1000 watt motor and a 52 volt 19.2 amp hour battery, this is a pretty good fat tire e-bike for only $18.99 right now. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of excited to talk about this bike. I don't generally review fat tire e-bikes, mainly Omar does that. But um, this is kind of like a high performance bike. Um, it's kind of reminds me a little bit of the Amp Rides 1500 uh, dual suspension, the, the Volt uh, is what they call that. Um, that one also had a massive uh, 52 volt battery and it had a, a motor that was 
uh, comparable to this one. This is a, a thousand watt nominal 1300 peak watt motor. And it kicks out, they're saying 80 Newton meters of, of torque, um, but it feels very, uh, very powerful. And one thing that is interesting about Juice bikes is they don't really mess around when it comes to the speed of their bikes and the performance factor of their bikes, right? So, so pretty much every bike we review, most of the bikes, they can be unlocked to, to, to be class three, which means they have a throttle and they can reach speeds of 28 miles per hour with pedal assist. So this bike, uh, the speed is limited to 24 out of the box, 24 miles per hour, but they make it very easy to go into the settings and unlock speeds of up to 28 miles per hour, actually up to 30 miles per hour in pedal assist. And you can unlock what they call race mode. So race mode is going to give you the most responsiveness, the most thrust, and um, you still will only throttle out at 20, but you can reach up to 30 miles per hour in pedal assist. I've done it very easily on this bike. It's really easy to get carried away. Um, so I like that this is a company that is, they're just not shy about it. Like they make, they make high performance e-bikes and if you want, uh, you know, a thousand watt motor, um, or if you want like a, a Scorpion, right? That's another top of the line juice bike. Um, that's more of a moped style bike. Um, that's an option. That's something that these, this company specializes in. So it's kind of like an adults only bike, right? Like if you just want to, if you're just happy going 24 miles per hour, you don't need race mode, right? Then you don't need to change the settings. But what I think is cool is they have the documentation right on the website. You don't, it's not like an Easter egg. You have to hunt for that info. It's very easy to access that info and it's very easy to change the settings on this bike. So um, thanks for treating us like adults juice bike. Um, and like I said, if you're not into high performance bikes and you're happy to go 20, um, perfectly fine, right? Um, this is maybe not the bike for you. So before I get into the pros and cons of the Rip Current, um, I wanna talk a little bit about some notable features of this bike. Um, let's talk about the battery because that's maybe um, the biggest reason someone's gonna want this bike. Uh, it's a 52 volt, 19.2 uh, amp hour battery. So that's 996 watt hours. That's potentially a range of 100 miles for one battery. We're not talking two batteries. You see a lot of um, e-bikes coming out and they're dual battery and they'll give you, you know, that's that around a similar um, range. This is one battery. It's, it's a big battery, right? It sticks out a lot. But if you have range anxiety and you're potentially worried that you're not gonna get to where you need to go or if you're making um, you know, a long day of it, uh, riding trails or maybe a long commute, um, this is a good bike for you. Um, another thing about a 52 volt battery is compared to a 48 volt battery, you're actually producing more power um, and delivering more power to the motor. So that's gonna mean better performance um, more thrust, more, more, um, more velocity from this bike and potentially higher speeds. So, so the other thing that's notable about the Rip Current S and actually a lot of uh, juice bikes is they have two types of sensors. They have a cadence sensor and a torque sensor. And we were talking to uh, the CEO of Ride One Up the other day and he was saying, you know, people like to uh, not cadence sensors but there's a difference between a good cadence sensor and an okay cadence sensor. This is what qualifies as a high definition cadence sensor, and it's measuring 100 signals per revolution, per crank, right? So that's a lot more than the typical cadence sensor. It just means it's more responsive to your movements, right, as you're, as you're pedaling uh, the crank. Um, so it's, it's never going to have that delayed effect that you get sometimes. Um, and you'll notice that on maybe lower end uh, e-bikes where you'll, you'll push and all of a sudden you'll get a sudden jolt. It kind of knocks you back in a way, right? Or it doesn't give you the power when you need it when you're going uphill. So that's the difference between maybe a bad cadence sensor and these cadence sensors. So let's talk about the torque sensor. So this torque sensor is measuring your pedal force 
at a thousand times per second, right? That means that the effort that you provide when you're pushing on the pedal is pro proportional to the, the power it's going to give out, right? So, um, you know, obviously the harder that you, you push, the more effort you push on the pedal, the more power you're gonna get out of the motor. Um, so the combination of those two factors means real just intense connection and responsiveness when you're pedaling and just tons of speed, right? Like you can get cranking super fast. So yeah, you notice it right away. I mean, it's, it, it's, a, it's a thrill ride. It's one of the most fun e-bikes. And um, you know, fat tire e-bikes, they all tend to have bigger motors and bigger batteries, but this is one of the fastest ones that I've ever, ever ridden. All right, so now that I've talked about uh, the battery and the motor, uh, the torque sensors, the cadence sensors, um, let me tell you some, some kind of more nuanced pros that I, I think are, are really awesome about this bike. So this battery is UL2271 certified, which means it's uh, rigorously tested to make sure it adheres to the highest safety standards for batteries in, in the US. And they're trying to make it a worldwide global standard. So the fact that Juice Bikes is, uh, is leading with uh, UL certification, the, that's a big thing, right? It means the battery is going to last longer, perform better, it's gonna be less likely to catch on fire, which is a rare occurrence, but can happen if you're not properly storing your batteries or if you're keeping your bike uh, outside, you know, in cold weather, um, inclement weather. So that is a great reason to, to get this bike. It's a super high quality battery. Um, and as we said before, bigger battery, 52 volts means better performance out of the motor, faster speeds, um, more, uh, more just enjoy, more of a, a joy to ride um, if you're more of a thrill seeker. So that's a big pro about this e-bike. Um, another thing that's I think is really great about this e-bike is um, it's actually not that heavy for a fat tire e-bike. So this bike is 76 pounds counting the battery. And I've seen a lot of e-bikes, we have a few right now that we're reviewing, where they're well over 80 pounds, um, and some of them are up to like 95 pounds. So that's a really big bike. I mean, that's a lot of weight to balance, and you know, that, that could fall on you, right? A bike that heavy could, could fall on you, and possibly injure you. So that's only gonna appeal to a certain type of rider, uh, maybe a person of a, of a larger stature. This is only 76 pounds. So as far as fat tire e-bikes go, um, I think that's a pretty reasonable weight. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. The other thing um, that's great about this e-bike is, uh, as I mentioned, the menu to the advanced settings to unlock race mode and to up the speed limit to, to 28 and 30 miles per hour. It's super accessible. And um, I think if you wanna go that fast, you should be able to, right? If you wanna feel that acceleration and thrill of just being able to go fast and power over hills, you can tackle hills like nothing on this bike. Um, so if you want a bike that's kinda, kinda has no limits, right? This is kind of the bike for you. And the last pro about the Rip Kern is, probably the best reason to get this bike is the price, $18.99. That is an absolute steal for a bike with a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery, a Bafang 1000 watt motor to have a rack. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. It's a nine speed. It's got front suspension. There's a ton uh, that you get with this bike and it's only $18.99. It's not that far behind the newer version of the Rip Current, which is right now 2400. So I would say if you wanna not spend that kind of money, if you wanna like just go with a reasonably priced e-bike, but with a ton of bang for your bike, this is probably the best bargain you're gonna get for a fat tire e-bike with a 19.2 amp hour battery and a thousand watt Bifang motor. It's, it's gonna be really hard to do better than that. So. Um, I don't know how much longer this closeout is gonna last. It probably won't last very much longer. So if you want this bike, you gotta jump on it and probably buy in the next month or two. 
All right, so I've talked a lot about what I like about this bike. There are a lot of pros. There's a lot of things to like about the Rip Current S. Now let's talk about the cons, right? So one of the things that's maybe the most glaring um, negative about this bike is just the components. So these hydraulic disc brakes, yeah, they're dual piston, but they're not name brand and um, they're not top quality hydraulic disc brakes like we've seen on some other bikes in this price range. Uh, the group set is also not name brand. The shifters, the rear cassette, the derailleur, um, they, they're, they're not name brand. They're not Shimano Acera uh, components. Um, so that's a little bit of a, you know, a knock on this bike. I will say, however, though, for $18.99, that's really not that big a deal. Um, maybe if I was paying $2,400, uh, I'd want those name brand components. So that's what the newest version of this bike is. And I, I think that bike actually does come with Tektor hydraulic disc brakes and um, Shimano components, shifters, you name it. So for $18.99, you can maybe pay to upgrade those things on your own. Lots of people do that anyway. Um, so it's a con, but it's, it's not the end of the world for, for this particular bike. Um, Another minor thing that I'm going to nitpick with uh, is there's a power button on this battery, which is really cool because when you hit the power button, you can actually see what the battery life is of your battery without having to turn on uh, the, the controller of the bike, right? The only way you can access it, though, is if you actually take the battery out. So if you're charging it at home, that's no problem, right? You can, you know, hit the button and you'll see the indicator you'll see what the battery life is. But it would be cool if the button was out here, accessible, right? So I don't have to actually unlock the battery to get that reading, right? Um, it would be cool, it'd be nice. Maybe that's something they can figure out on the next edition of this bike. Um, speaking of battery placement, um, I don't love the design of this bike. Uh, I mean, from a performance standpoint, it is a well-designed bike. Um, it's a well-built, well-put-together bike. I feel like this is a very high-quality, built-to-last, solid e-bike. But um, you know me, I like, in a, in, I like an integrated battery, right? So I like when the bikes uh, integrate the battery into the frame. This is a massive battery, so it might be hard to integrate that into the frame without making, without adding a lot of frame weight. So maybe that's part of the reason. Maybe they want to make it super easy to remove the battery. A lot of companies, that's just part of their, um, their DNA. Um, I think it could be improved. I also think, you know, there should be color options. There's this particular bike. There's only one color option, right? It's just what you see. This is metallic gray. So, um, you know, I really like when companies put that extra effort into design and choice. You do get the choice of three different frame sizes, which is great. This is the, uh, the large frame size. Um, and to Juice Bike's credit, there is a step-through version of this bike. But um, I would say, yeah, that's, that's definitely some room for, there's definitely some room for improvement. If you want different colors, you can opt for the current version of the Rip Current S. Um, but again, that's gonna set you back 2,400 bucks. So now it's time to give you my final thoughts on the Juice Bikes Rip Current S. Uh, I really enjoyed riding this bike. Um, as you can see from the footage, we took it on the beach. Um, we kind of raced the bikes around. Uh, we rode on sand. I can see why they're calling it a sport utility bike because it is practical. Um, you can carry a lot of cargo up to 300 pounds uh, of weight. Uh, it's very fast. It's super fun. Um, and it has a massive battery. So, like I said, if you have range anxiety and um, you know you like to bike for 40, 50 miles in one stretch, this is gonna handle that no problem. So, um, I think this is a really cool, well-designed, well-built, solid e-bike um, with some amazing uh, features, some amazing components for only $18.99. I think that is the best reason um, to buy this e-bike. You're not gonna find a lot of fat tire e-bikes that are gonna have a Bafang 1000 watt motor and a 19.2 amp hour battery. It just, you just don't see it very often. 
especially from a name brand like Juice Bikes that's been around since 2009. So yeah, if you're the kind of rider that enjoys riding on rugged terrain and trails and uh, being able to go hyper speeds at the push of a button, uh, this is really the bike for you. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other Fat Tire e-bike reviews and some of our comparison reviews where we'll compare uh, this bike with uh, other bikes in its class. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.